Okay, let's create a dumbbell dot plot in Excel. So the way we're going to do this is by creating a scatter plot and then using error bars to join the two data series together. So we have this data from Rotary. It's, they have surveyed 15 different countries to find out how many people are aware of Rotary number one and if they understand what Rotary do. So each country will be on its own line in the Y axis. That's why we have this column here with the Y position. Then we're going to add negative error bars to uh, the scatter plot so we can join the two data series. And that's what this column E is about here. So let's begin. Let's highlight column C and D and go to insert, scatter plot and choose the first one. Move it over here and make it a little bit bigger. So we've got our first data series in there. Let's add our second one in by clicking in the plot area. Right click, select data. Now before we add awareness in, we'll just change the name of the first data series here. So click on name and go to understanding of Rotary and that's all updated. To add a second data series, click the plus sign here. Our name will be awareness of Rotary. Our X values are over here in column B and our Y values are going to be our Y position. And click OK. So now we have our two data series in the chart, which is starting to take shape. Let's go and format those now. So I'll click on the first one that's Awareness of Rotary. I'm going to right click Format Data Series. We've got this tab over here that pops up. Go to the paint bucket, marker, marker options. We want to go built in. This is where you can select your shape. I'm happy with circle. So I'll go to size 10 point. In our fill, I'll go to solid fill. And up here, I've picked blue and gold for my colors. So awareness will be blue. I'll click it there and I want to get rid of the border, so no line. Click outside, so we've got our first data series updated or formatted, let's do our second one, so same process, click, right click, format data series, paint bucket, marker, marker options, built in, 10 point, solid fill, this one will be gold, and then no line. Perfect. We will move the chart down. Just click anywhere in the chart area, move it down and across so we've got room for our heading and our labels. Okay, the next thing we'll do is add the error bars in and that's where the difference column comes into play. So I'm just gonna delete this column for the moment. The formula that we need to work out the difference is just an equal sign. So we want to say understanding of rotary minus awareness of rotary. So it's C9 minus B9. I just press enter and there's my value, minus 36%. I can drag that down or I can double click that to repeat the formula for the rest of the data there. Perfect. Now we will go and add error bars in. So click on anywhere, any one of the gold circles in understanding of rotary data series. We want to go to chart design up the top, add chart element, error bars, percentage. Okay, so now we've got vertical and horizontal error bars. We don't need the vertical one, so we can just click and delete. Click on any one of the horizontal error bars. I'm just gonna click on that one. Right click, format error bars. This tab pops up. We want minus, no cap, and custom value. So click on that, don't panic. Go to specify value. And that's where we want to ignore positive. We just want our negative values. So we click on those and that's where our difference column comes into play. Click and drag, press okay. And there we go, our dumbbell dot pot, dot plot sorry, is starting to take shape. Okay, let's do some formatting on the Y axis here. We'll click and we'll right click, format axis. 
We want our axis to go from 0 to 15 because we've got 15 different countries and they can each have their own line. Our units at the moment, it's every second line. I want them to be every line, so I'll just change it from 2 to 1. And now each country will have its own grid line there. Perfect, I can click and delete that y-axis because we don't need it anymore. Let's add our data labels in. So the way that we do that is by adding a third data series. So click in anywhere in the plot area, right click, select data, we'll go to the plus sign, name, that'll be labels, x values, that's all our zeros here, and y values, that's our y position. Click OK. So now we've got these ugly green dots that have shown up. That's good. We want to click on those, right click and add data labels. Click on the data labels, right click and format data labels. So under label position, we'll move them to the left. And we want to change from the Y value, we want to pick value from cells. So click on that. It's going to ask you what cells do you want to pick? And that's where we go and select our countries and press OK. Great, that's taking shape. We don't need our Y values and we don't need our leader lines. So now we've Im embedded the labels directly in the chart there. We can get rid of these data points. We don't need those. So click on them, right click, format data series, go over to the paint bucket, marker, marker options and say none. Great, move that down a little bit. If I wanted to format my error bars to make them a little bit thicker, I just have to click on those, right click, format error bars, go to the paint bucket, solid line. I like the last gray in the first column and maybe make it 1.25. Okay, let's add our heading and our legend in. So if we click in the chart area and then go to insert text box and draw our text box. If we go up to the formula bar and say equals, we can link our title to our chart. So I'm just going to click A5 because that's where my title is. And now it's in my chart. And then if I change it, I don't know if my data changes and I want to change my chart title, I type directly in there and it'll update straight away. And also by clicking in the chart area, that means it's connected to our chart. So if I move our chart around, the text box comes with it. Okay, so then we can just add our legend in. I've just copied and pasted one. Oh. Copied and pasted one that I did previously and pop that in there. Okay, we could stop there or otherwise we could go in and add data labels directly. So if we wanted to do that, let's click on one of the data series, right click, add data labels, click on the data labels, right click, format data labels. We want our X value and nothing else. So unclick Y value, unclick show leader lines and put it on the left side. With that selected, we can change the color. So I'm gonna say gold. I'll make the background white so you can't see the grid lines behind and you can make those smaller or larger. I'll just drag that down a little bit. And then we can repeat the process for the second data series. So right click, add data labels, click on the data labels, right click, format data labels, X value, and then unclick the other two. Change the color, add a white background, and then play around with the size. So if we add the data labels in, we can then get rid of the X axis and the vertical grid lines. So click anywhere in the grid lines, the vertical ones, and delete. So there is your dumbbell dot plot done in Excel. Let me know in the comments what other charts you'd like to see built in Excel and I will 
try to do those for you. Happy designing!